Yep. Hello, it's Aaron again from GameEnthus.com, and I'm doing another goofy, annoying, probably getting old boxing video. So, this edition is the Xbox One boxing video. So, let me show you what the console looks like. Ooh, Xbox One, so shiny, so venti. And let's go to the back. You can see power, HDMI out. Uh, fiber optic to my in two USB 3.0s, a Kinect auxiliary, an IR blaster out, and Ethernet. And I believe on the side there's another USB 3.0. So we'll put that in here. Sort of. Pardon me a moment. All right, that's in there, and I think this thing goes on top. Yeah, that, that looks about right. Okay, what else do we have here? Um, we have the Xbox One uh, Day One Edition controller. Day One 2013. Outside of this being on here, and maybe... Look at that sticker. And maybe this sticker and the black box, which is nice. I really don't know what else Day One means. Oh, you know what? Yeah, I do. It comes with some kind of content. I'm not going to show you the barcode, but, but uh, it comes with some kind of content for day one. So I'll put the controller in there. It's nice and snug. Uh, apparently it comes with 14 days of uh, Xbox Live for free. Put that in there. There's a quick guide. It's pretty thin, so I guess it's pretty quick. It's the sticker I already showed you. Ooh, sticker. It's like the old logo, though. Whatever. It comes with two Duracell batteries. Imagine that. Let's see. Um, more words. Okay. Uh, we have uh, this Microsoft branded. I don't know. Uh, HDMI cables. Apparently, this is the end thing for things that need HDMI to come with HDMI cables. Who would have thought? What a world we live in. Um, we also have the power brick, which isn't nearly as heavy as a 360 power brick. So, because I don't know where I'm going to fit this in, I'm just going to put it on the side. You don't care anyway. Okay, and we have the headset. And it's funny that, um, I think this is the headset that they put on the website talking about the accessories prior to them reversing the ridiculous stance of, you can talk into the Kinect, like everybody wants to do that. So although um, they did not promise a headset at the beginning, this headset does look a lot better than, well, it looks better than the one that came with the 360, and it certainly looks better than the one that came with the PS4, which is still functional. The PS4 one is functional. It's not horrible. It works, and hopefully this one works as well, too. But just, you know, the design, and it's a little, little better for wear and tear, but only time will tell. And this is Connect 2, as you can see. Ventilation, uh, yeah, it's pretty big actually. It's sizable. I really don't know where I'm going to put this. Oh, I can. No, oh, I'm not going to do that. Okay, I can probably pivot this or something. I'll work that out. So you have that. Um, so what you really want to see is just some controller comparisons. I'm sure. So we have Xbox One, and we have a RetroLink mock-up NES controller. See what a nice comparison. See, look at that. Uh, we have this this trackball that I found laying around the house. What a, yeah, see, look at look at the size difference. See, look. okay, I'll put that in there. Uh, we have this Boss big oversized super uh, can't even read super shell for a Wiimote with no Wiimote in it. That's in red because of Mario, and you can see the size comparison. You look at the, you know, but the D-pad is just to press the actual Wiimote and stuff. So. We have that. Uh, we have this bound uh, set of component cables with uh, RCA audio. As you can see the size comparison, look at that. See? Xbox One doesn't have this. You know, there's no twist ties on this thing. There's several here. Well, two. So, yeah. All right. See the MOGA controller. So, which I've never, I think I used it successfully once. 
got the Sephoria PAX East. Uh, that's something that makes actual sense to compare. Well, it's still the chat pad in it, but you can get a comparison of the Xbox One versus the Xbox 360. Look at that D-pad. Both, I mean, this one's shinier, but clearly this is a better D-pad than this disc thing. So that is definitely a step up. Now, I've heard that. I guess there's uh, infrared built into it, so you don't actually have to press the sync button. I didn't show the sync button on the actual console, but there's a sync button here, and it uses micro USB. Oh, standardization is a beautiful thing. That's where you connect the, uh, the headset, which is proprietary, which is kind of annoying, but whatever. Um, battery compartment. You can just use double A's, which I've showed you it came with, or you can buy the play and charge. But I just use double A's because it's play and charge. Normally it just has double A in them anyway. And last but certainly not least, uh, we have a comparison of the DualShock 4 and the Xbox One. Both very good controllers. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I like better or not. I've only, I played a bunch of games with this, and I played nothing with this, so we'll have to see. It doesn't matter. They're both great controllers. I do like the textured. You can really see that, how it's textured here. You can see that? Yeah, see? That's nice. But I also like the fact that these are also concave. Not quite as textured. They're textured throughout the entire thing, but it's a lighter one. This one is a little more fine, but it's only on the sides, though. This is everywhere. And it's concave, which is nice. And the speaker. Anyway. So, yeah. And I picked up a couple games to play on it. Um, wait a minute. This isn't a... Yeah, okay. So, NBA. Dead Rising. And I'm going to get... Um, Killer Instinct, I guess, and probably get Just Dance for the kids and download it so it can always be there. So if my kids want to dance or whatever, they don't have to look for a disc. It's already there. Oops. And it was kind of troubling that when I picked it up this morning, a guy next to me in line was bringing his back uh, with reports of that disc grinding issue that I'm hoping isn't widespread, but only time will tell. So uh, let me show you the actual, I'm actually close this thing. The box is quite nice. Let's see the, see the, tilt this up a little bit. See the box there? Ooh, nice box. So, the NFL logo on there. Look at that. Controller on the side of it. So it is a, it's big. It's not as heavy as you would think it would be, but it's certainly a, a nice looking system. So, now I want to take it back out and play some games. All right, hope you enjoyed the boxing video. Uh, that's pretty much it for me. Uh, check out some more videos, check out some more boxing videos. There is a PS4 boxing video I did last week. I think something should pop up on the screen so you know what that is or where you can find it, the link. Right about, I don't know now, who cares. Uh, there's a ton of other boxing videos, so yeah. Um, game on, I don't know. I'm out of here. Game with this podcast. Listen. All right, now, now I'm gone.